Hold, hold up, hold up. I, I just finished watching Baki Hama, all 27 episodes, and I am excited to talk about this shit. Hello, human. Click that subscribe button. I've been watching Baki like crazy over the last few months. This show is fucking awesome. I started with Baki, and then I worked my way through Baki Hanma, and it's just the whole entire uh, season of Baki Hanma, right? That whole series... Because even though, you know, Baki Hanma is still like a continuation of Baki. So just roll with me here. So the 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 fact <laughs> the fact that we got Baki taking this shit seriously, like, look, man, you know, one day I'm gonna have to fuck my dad up. And Yujiro's like, hey, I'm the strongest man in the world. I'm the best fighter in the world. Ain't nobody stepping to me. But my son might be a threat. But right now. I will fucking backhand the shit out that nigga. He ain't doing nothing. And then we got to see this character named Pickle. This motherfucker's from prehistoric times, right? Long hair, got these sharp nails and shit. He don't know how to talk. All he knows how to do is whoop ass. You know, he was just killing and eating dinosaurs for breakfast, right? So it was cool to see the Pickle character and see Baki's interact, uh, interaction with him, and then see all the other characters interact with Pickle, that was fucking amazing, but the way that Baki Hanma ends, like, that shit made me stand up and jail, like, yeah, that's how you fucking do it, that's how you fucking do it, yeah, like, oh, shit, on a scale from one to ten, one being horseshit on a hot, smelly as day, and 10 being mind-blowingly amazing, I'm gonna give Baki Hanma a 9.5 out of 10. This is absolutely fantastic. If you enjoyed Baki, you gotta check out Baki Hanma. If you like the idea of training, uh, mental and physical strength, martial arts, boxing, awesome storytelling that makes you laugh, makes you clap, you like, man, this shit is badass. You just wanna see all around badass characters, you have to check out Baki Hanma. Now, I've seen my fair share of anime. I wouldn't call myself an anime fan per se, but I do enjoy certain anime. You know, I'm very particular about the anime I watch. And, you know, humans have been telling me for a minute, hey, you got to check out Baki and this and that. And uh, there's this YouTuber named Logan Chitwood, if I'm not mistaken. Like, this dude look like Yujiro in real life. If they do Baki live action, they got to cast that dude. But because of his awesome channel and how cool he is, that was the final nail in the coffin to really get me to check out Baki as a whole. And I was like, hey, if I don't like it, I'll just stop watching it. And then after one episode, I was already hooked and I just couldn't get enough of it. It was like a fucking addiction. But awesome series. I love that shit. Baki and Baki Hama. Fantastic. Terrence out. Oh, you might be wondering... uh who my favorite characters are, you know, it's definitely Yajiro, uh, uh, Baki, of course, Muhammad Ali Jr., Pickle, and then uh, uh, Biscuit Oliver, you, you, you know who I'm talking about, right, the big black dude, I think that's his name, but yeah, those are my favorite characters in case uh, you were wondering, like, oh man, what, what characters you like and this and that, there are other badass characters that are cool too, but for me, those are my top characters throughout, you know, Baki and Baki Hanma, Terrence out.